Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, including topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! In our previous video, we wondered why ammonia was a base kahit wala siyang hydroxide o OH sa huli. In this video, we will be answering that clearly by discussing the pH scale and the indicators of acids and bases. Ano ba ang pH scale? pH may stand for potential of hydrogen or power of hydrogen. It refers to the concentration of hydronium ions. The greater o pag mas marami, mas malaki ang concentration ng hydronium ions, the lower the pH, and more acidic. But, if it has lesser, mas mababa, mas konti ang concentration ng hydronium ions, mas mataas ang pH. Kaya ang pH scale ay ginagamit to measure the acidity or basicity of a substance. It has a scale of 0 to 14. This is a pH scale. Tingin muna tayo sa left side. From 0, 0.0 to 6.9, these substances are considered acidic. And ang pinaka-acidic ay ang nasa sa leftmost side o yung nasa 0, 0.0 at ang 1. How about on the right side? From 7.1 to 14 is considered basic. At ang pinaka-basic ay yung nasa dulo, which has a pH of 14. Yung may pH 7 is considered as a neutral substance. An example nito ay ang water. Balik na tayo sa question natin. Ma'am, bakit ba base yung ammonia? Wala naman siyang hydroxide. Tingnan natin kung ano ang pH ng ammonia. The pH of ammonia is 11.6. Kung ating lalagay siya sa pH scale, it is around here, which is basic or alkaline. At dahil nasa part siya ng 7.1 to 14, ammonia is considered as a base. Aside from the pH scale, we can also use indicators to determine kung acid o base bang isang substance. First, let's define what an indicator is. Indicator is an organic substance that changes color when acids or bases are present. In our previous video, we were introduced to litmus paper, which changes color depende sa kung ano yung present na substance, kung acid ba o base. Tingin muna sa illustration. Let's focus on the first row which is all about base. If you can notice, there is no change sa blue litmus paper. Pero sa red litmus paper, we can see a very significant change. The red litmus paper turned into blue if subjected sa isang base. Let's proceed sa acid, sa second row. There is no change sa red litmus paper. Pero if napansin nyo, sa blue litmus paper, merong isang malaking change. The blue litmus paper turned into red when subjected or exposed to an acid. And lastly, let's go to neutral substances. Kapag neutral, yung may pH 7, for example, we have water at 25 degrees Celsius, there is no significant change in blue and red litmus paper. The color remains the same kasi nga, neutral siya. Another indicator that we can use is Bromthymol Blue or BTB. It is bright aquamarine by itself 
kapag wala pang acid or base or isang neutral na substance. But to determine kung acid or base o neutral, nag-change siya ng color. Focus muna tayo sa picture. On the left side, you can see that the colors are yellowish. And on the right side, they are bluish at meron pang ang blue. Sa baba, you can see the labels kung ano yung pH number nila. From pH 2.1 to pH 6.9, they are yellowish at paiba na greenish. These are acidic. Pagpunta natin sa pH 7, bromthymol blue changed into color green because this substance is neutral. Meron siyang pH na 7.0, just like water. At pagpunta natin sa pH 7.4, to 12.5, they are bluish to blue because these substances are basic. They change the color of the aquamarine BTB to blue. So, bromthymol blue changes to yellow if an acid is present and it changes to blue when a base is present. Another indicator which is commonly used sa laboratory ay ang phenolphthalein. It is naturally colorless and when we add acid to phenolphthalein, colorless pa rin siya. Pero, pag maglagay tayo ng isang substance na base sa phenolphthalein, the color changes from colorless to fuchsia or light pink. Those are just some of the indicators that we can use. Actually, marami pa sila. Pero these three are the main indicators used sa laboratory. So make sure that you are familiar with these three. That ends our discussion. And before we end this video, it's quiz time! We will have a three-minute quiz para malaman natin if you really learned something from our discussion. After three minutes, we will check.
Time's up. Let's check if your answers are correct. We will identify whether the substance or characteristic belongs to an acid or base. Number 1. pH is 6.8. This is an acid. Ang acid meron siyang pH from 0 to 6.9. Pag 7, neutral. 7.1 to 14, base. Number 2. It changed phenolphthalein to pink. This is a base. Kapag acid naman, colorless pa rin yung kulay. Number 3. It changed BPB or bromthymol blue to yellow. This is an acid. Kapag base, it will change BPB to blue. Number 4. It changed red litmus paper to blue. This is a characteristic of a base. Kapag acid, blue to red. Last one. We have ammonia. Is this an acid or base? This is a base because it has a pH of 11.6. Kindly comment your scores in the comment section below. That ends our Shensh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!